Okay, I'm just going to make a short video about antidepressants because some of my patients have been suggested to go on antidepressants by their doctors and they wonder what to do because they've read uh, negative things about antidepressants and they're kind of worried for what kind of choice they're going to take. So I'll just uh, off the bat uh, say a little bit about antidepressants and what can be the advantages and disadvantages of them. Okay, most antidepressants can be thought of as painkillers for the brain, so to speak, psychological painkillers. Uh, the effect that a lot of people like with antidepressants is that they make you numb, so that you don't feel much of anything anymore. Of course, that could be argued that that's not a good idea because then you can't really work with the things that are bothering you because you don't feel anything anymore. Uh, there are there's a lot of research that has been done on antidepressants and most of it is done by the companies that make them. So in a way the results you might wonder if, if you really should uh, believe the results because okay it's made by the makers just like Coca-Cola, uh, finding out if Coca-Cola is better than Pepsi-Cola. Or it's as if the criminal is going to do his own DNA analysis and search the crime scene for clues. It's a little bit like that. In a way, you can't really trust the research. But when they have compiled all the research, especially the ones that have not been published, uh, it's usually if, if the results are negative, they're not published. So that, that's another problem. But uh, when they pull together all the research, they see that they can raise or they can make people three points better on the depression scale compared to a placebo, a sugar pill. And um, that's not much in a way. Other research shows that you have to have at least seven points for anybody, either the doctor or the patient, to notice that they're getting better. So the benefit is actually quite small compared to um, the kind of attention you get by talking to somebody about your problems. So you don't even have to talk to a professional, but just have somebody to talk about your problems with will help so much that in a way antidepressants don't seem to make any difference. Now the research on antidepressants is done in a very strange way too. They take people who are already on antidepressants they make them stop abruptly. And then they take half of this group and put them back on a drug that's almost the same as what the one they used to take. And the other half, they get to continue in withdrawal. And that's the placebo group. So the group who is in full withdrawal are actually doing almost as well as the group who's taking the drug that they were actually used to taking. And if you just wait for one week, the results of the placebo withdrawal group is just as good as the one who got back the, the drug that they were used to. Just imagine alcohol. If you're extremely hungover, most people will say the only thing that works is to take more alcohol. Then you feel a little bit better. So it's a little bit the same kind of thing as, as uh, curing the hangover from having stopped your previous drug. But even that is not very much better than going cold turkey. And of course, all doctors say that you should never stop your medication abruptly, but that's what they do in the research actually. Okay, so now to uh, a little bit of the dangers with taking these medications. Uh, the first danger is that you can become a lot more suicidal. In a way, it's, we're talking about the doubling on some of the pills and a 600% increase on some of the other pills. So uh, things can go a lot worse if you 